Hey, so decided to do some Just Cause 2, but uh, this isn't really about the game. This is a, uh, <clears throat> guess I'm doing the thing everybody else did about a, two weeks or so ago. Even though I don't really give too much of a fuck about it, but the uh, <clears throat> whole thing with the uh, Toby Turner rape allegations and all this. And, uh, yeah, so I. I wasn't going to say anything about it because uh, I just don't really give a shit for the drama. But um, what I do have to say in the matter, or this and related issues, is just about the. Uh, it's about how, if you think about it, we really haven't moved out of the um, of the whole uh, thing with the Salem witch trials hundreds of years ago. We really haven't moved past that, just for the fact that. Just like then, now, all that's needed for anything is a simple allegation. You can be accused of something, and being accused means you just did it. That's... And there's my Steam overlay that came in for no reason. But yeah, you can just... You just get accused, and even without any real proof at all, just like how the case of Helm is, there's hardly any actual evidence. There's barely anything. There's a text... <clears throat> text messages that they shown that could have easily been faked. There's a, a Tumblr post that's the accusation, the main one, and freaking, I mean, goddamn, that's that, that that's nothing. I can make a Tumblr post saying I'm the freaking president of goddamn Spain, but it doesn't make me that, you know. <clears throat> but however, it's like of um, hopefully we can find somewhere to go in this game, but uh. Yeah, I mean, just the fact that people, now, of course, this isn't going into court or anything, it hasn't done that, but, uh, you know, people can just see these things, these allegations, and just take them as a fact of life, and like, oh, well, I heard this about this person, well, they're guilty. Well, no, it's, it's just an allegation. That's all it is. And the thing is, people don't seem to realize just the simple allegations can ruin lives, lose jobs, lose relationships. Now, I will say that there's a lot of people uh, who is talking about um, Toby who said he had drug and alcohol problems and he's been bad at relationships and whatnot. So, I mean, that can full well, damn well be true. I mean, but that does not mean uh, he did anything. It does not mean he's guilty of rape at all. <clears throat> That's just being guilty of being a, a asshole, pretty much. So, yeah, so I might be, he might be, of course, guilty of being a dick, but that's it. You know, and the thing is, and on that note, there's tons of people who are just dicks all the time, worldwide. However, you know, when it's a famous person, or a semi-famous person, when they end up being a dick, it's like, oh, oh this is the worst thing ever, this never happens. Like, it, it just, no, it, it happens every day. But, you know, when your neighbor, Joe Piccolanus, does it, nobody really gives a shit, because it's Joe Piccolanus, and fucking nobody knows him. Uh, but, you know, when it's someone famous, oh, it's so, so different, like, how? They're human, too, they can have the same mistakes, they can do the same stupid stuff, they can be dicks, too. You know, and some people could say, oh, well, maybe it's, a, you know, they should be held to a higher standard, because they're a, no. They're, they're an entertainer. You should you should be like yeah, watch them and do stuff. But you have to understand, you know, they have their private lives and they have a lot of stress too, and they can snap just as well as anyone else can. So I'm gonna see if I can go and get someone to go. We're gonna ride this dude's car. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm kind of rambling going on, but uh, back to the thing. Yeah, just the fact that today's world, especially with any allegations of a rape or, you know, uh, any kind of sex crime whatsoever, you know, and various other crimes too, but particularly more with um, any kind of sex crime, it's like, uh, you know, all you need is an allegation. You could, uh, have no evidence and people will still believe you, especially, especially, um, if you're female. And, you know, I don't mean to be the blame a victim kind of person here, I don't mean to do that, but still, 
the fact of the matter is that yes, at these women who freaking accuse people like Toby or whatever of rape can easily also just be making it up. It's very possible they can do that. They are not infallible creatures. You know, they can uh, pretty much do whatever you know guys can. Of course, you know that's equality right there. If they want to be a dick, then they can be a dick. They can, they can cause just as much trouble as anyone else can. You know, j just by grace of being female does not mean they can't lie. Obviously, you know, a lot of these cases, you know, if it was the reverse, if it was a man accusing a woman or a man accusing the other man, then. You know, God knows, not nearly as many people would just take it at face value and believe it instantaneously. And it wouldn't, and of course then it wouldn't be the, oh well, innocent, or guilty until proven innocent as it is now. You know, and of course these things don't go to court. You know, there's never heard anything about this case with Toby going to court. And of course that's the thing, as a lot of other people said, if a crime is actually committed against you, go to fucking, go to the cops. Fucking call 911. Freaking do something about that. You know, you, you can't just go on the internet and just expect them to fix it. I mean, that doesn't do anything but put your drama out there for everyone to see. You know, and there's no situation where that stuff there, maybe there could be rarely somehow, but for the most part, there's no way that situation is going to, like, actually help you or call anything out to attention. I mean, in cases like that, you just, all you should want to do is get the person punished for it. And outing them in public media and whatnot like that, it, it doesn't do anything good at all. No, in fact, it actually just gives more needless drama to say if someone actually did whatever. Say someone's accused of a crime, they actually did it. Alright, and it's, say it's like the Toby Turner case, and then, let's say he actually did it or something. You know, he did, uh, I personally don't think he did at all, but let's say he did, for <coughs> for the sake of argument. And uh, so he did that, and then what happens? You know, then you bring this into a public domain and everything, like uh, that Tumblr post did. And all that's going to do is give people like that freaking even more newsworthiness. You know, it just puts another criminal in on the news for everyone to see and admire name goes down in history, you know, whether they're famous or not, as you know, this, oh, this person did this, you know, it's like, like, no, we, we shouldn't, because we do that too much with, uh, especially any kind of shooting stuff that happens, or, you know, mass casualty event, people always get their names plastered all over the news, you know, and to other people who might be just, just as disturbed as they are, they become heroes, they become martyrs, they become idols. And we need to stop broadcasting those kind of people in all our news shows and everything else. You, you, you have a mass shooter event, you know what you do? You just, you don't cover it up, but you just don't say the dude's name. You don't say who did it, you just say an assailant. And you can name the victims, maybe, if they're, if you want, or families, or if they're, if they're significant. Or if they allow the news people to do it, or whatever. But not the not the perpetrator. Don't don't give him any any fucking goddamn relevance. They don't deserve it. Cause that's the, also the kind of shit that they go for, to be remembered like that. So you know, <clears throat> at that point, all they're gonna do is just give even more relevance to people who do bad shit, and that's just fucked up. Cause it just helps more and more people, but get inspired to do that. You know, not everyone, but, you know, some people it does, because there's a lot of sick people in the world. <clears throat> but, yeah, my, uh, it really does get me, and it pisses me off that this is still the way things go, that we still ex just have people who blindly accept anything without actual proof. And even if people can be proven, like, 100% factually innocent in any case, they're still that lasting damage of the allegation that just keeps going on and no one ever looks at them the same way no one's ever gonna think of them the same way you know just cause just cause you know the allegation even if they're proven completely false you know so my thing with that would be a simple thought experiment where if you uh... see a case like that 
uh, no matter who it is, you know, you see something going on like that, you see an allegation out of nowhere, and you look at it and there's no real evidence of it, and there, uh, there's just barely anything that would even, you know, nothing that would even cause it to go to court. And in that kind of a case, what you should do is just imagine that the person there, whoever's being accused, is someone close to you. Imagine, you know, it's it's your husband, your father, brother, mother, whatever. Imagine it's one of those people, you know, who is just, who is being accused with no real evidence, nothing to prove that they did anything. And at that point, just think if you're going to be willing, just as willing to say, oh yeah, they're guilty, as you would be if they were someone completely different. I mean, that's the kind of thing, because those people, you know, Toby and whoever else can be accused of anything, you know, they're important to someone. You know, they're someone's family member, they're someone's, you know, either husband, sister, you know, father, or whatever. You know, they're important to someone, and that's very, that's heartbreakingly damaging. So, I mean, that's my, that's my two cents on the matter, and just how depressing it is that we still haven't gone past the days of the Salem Witch Trials. It's just things have become different where, you know, is that the stake that we burn people at is just more metaphorical now. And that's more done on social media and in the news. And freaking, uh, <clears throat> and the allegations aren't, aren't exactly witch anymore. Of course, they're either rapist, pedophile, murderer, or, you know, whatever else allegation you want to make. And a couple of times, you know, you'll find that a lot of these people sometimes will just make stuff up because they get pissed at someone. You know, but that's that's just the thing. There's shitty people in the world. And, you know, when people do that and they make up false shit about someone, that just hurts actual cases even more. You know, and it makes the people who were actually violated lose credibility. So that's just, that's just a, ah, a disgusting thing to do. But yeah, I'm, personally, I would say he's, you know, most likely, 98% I'm going to say innocent of the accusation. He might have been a dick, he might still be a dick, but he's not a raping dick. At least not in my opinion. Alright, so that's, I've rambled on enough. That's my two cents on this matter. I'm going to go dive headfirst into this rock. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Alright. Well, that's all I got to say for that. So, see ya.